Good morning, the faith I live by June 1st and for the month of June, we will be studying the here and hereafter. Time, a precious talent, Psalms 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Our time belongs to God. Every moment is his and we are under the most solemn obligation to improve it to his glory. Of no talent he has given will he require a more strict account than of our time. The value of time is beyond computation. Christ regarded every moment as precious and it is thus that we should regard it. Life is too short to be trifled away. We have but a few days of probation in which to prepare for eternity. We have no time to waste no time to devote to selfish pleasure, no time for the indulgence of sin. It is now that we are to form characters for the future, immortal life. It is now that we are to prepare for the searching judgment. The human family have scarcely begun to live when they begin to die. The man who appreciates time as his working day will fit himself for a mansion and for a life that is immortal. It is well that he was born. We are admonished to redeem the time, but time squandered can never be recovered. We cannot call back even one moment. The only way in which we can redeem our time is by making the most of that which remains by being co-workers with God in his great plan of redemption. Every moment is freighted with eternal consequences. We are to stand as Minutemen, ready for service at a moment's notice. The opportunity that is now ours to speak to some needy soul, the word of life may never offer again. God may say to that one, this, might, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. And through our neglect, he may not be ready, Luke 12, 20. In the great judgment day, how shall we render our account to God? Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.